I got that thing. I It's been a while. I don't remember what I even got you. Welcome back, Miss You. We were anxiously waiting your turn. Yep, I made it back. Okay, is this the material you need? That it is. Bravo. As expected of Miss You, with this, we'll finish the outfit just in the nick of time. Come, come, Neri. This is the piece de resistance. Quickly, we must give the maiden's outfit our all. Of course, but ah, oh, we must give something to Miss You first. Here, a little something for your trouble. I put a little extra this time around. Buy something good for yourself. Thanks a bunch. I know they'll do good work with the outfit. I'm rooting for the two of you. Is it just money? Stealth dress. That sounds cool. Am I, I'm not allowed to wear it, but I know someone who might be allowed. Low defense, but enemies are less likely to attack its wearer. Would have been helpful for the crystal lizard thing. Um, God, I honestly, Crystal would probably be a great option for Flora. Cause like I'm, I'm gonna put Crystal robe on her. Why not? Uh, I don't know about that stealth dress. That doesn't seem the most useful for that situation. Uh, rest real quick and teleport back to Honey. And then just down and around. I mean, like, anything like the stealth dress. I mean, I guess it's fine. Taking... Getting attacked less is... Not a bad thing, but... I mean, half of the stuff that I can do... I'm gonna kill you for fun. Half the stuff that I can do... With... Oh, that actually takes a bit more damage, but look at how strong Flora is now. I, I said I said half, and I'm technically right, even though it's really only one thing. But the uh, main thing that Flora can do is hide to raise evasiveness. So, like, at that point, if you're raising evasiveness, I feel like what you want to do is actually have them be targeted a bit more, which is why Cybat's skills seemed a bit better, a bit more useful. I'm just, like, Flora just needs, like, one other thing that could be helpful. I'm gonna steal from you. Oh, there's so many strong enemies in here. How did these kids make it through this area? Oh, my God. Thank you. That were so many. There were so many enemies. Found whip. That was just a throwable item, right? Ooh. I'm gonna survey you. I don't know if you actually would want honey. I want a lacuni. Okay, yeah, you are also honey. Which is annoying because I'm gonna have to do the. Well, it's a good thing I had that defensive thing on. Um. I don't know if I would be able to really get this done. I need to try to get rid of you guys. I do have a death cap. I really need to get rid of the... Uh... I'm actually super dying right now. I'm gonna do this. This might kill the honey pot, though. Ah. It killed the honey pot. You's also dead. What a tragic lifestyle. Did you not have the, um... healing? I feel like my lack of speed is making my evasion not as good. I think that actually is tied together. Okay, 
I'm not, I'm not gonna really worry about that whole honey situation with these guys. If anything, I was a bit worried about the, um... Did I mention, I think, when I, um... When I... Change this... What, what was- is your defense 93 with that? Low defense but increases speed and- I'm gonna try this again. Now that we're like, generally stronger. I don't remember if I mentioned, uh, when I went back to the monster den, I did lower my attack enough that I would be able to befriend the, uh, bats. I'm kind of upset because this would have been a nice- Defend, gonna hide. Cool, cool hiding, cool evasion. Let's try to kill these two. And hope that we get the honey to help us and not enemy. If the honey helps an enemy, then we're just kind of SOL. Uh, attack you. Falling star again. Damn it! I was really hoping we'd be fast enough to deal with that. Alright, so we're just kind of done with that. Might have to heal you again, because everyone's really aggressive towards you at the moment. Don't know why. Obviously, the best thing would be to sticky someone, but... And Flora's evasiveness is really not helping at all. Since Flora's evasiveness is not helping at all. How far is this? We have a little bit of time. Oh, because I still have the Crystal Robot. Alright, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Guess who's getting sticky shoes? This might not work well, though. Because... Well, that last encounter we had was decent. It was, um... My worry is that we'll have one with the, uh first ant eater type that we face like this and I don't want the uh, first ant eater to get the uh, the lick off revival leaf probably just an even better revive item I got confused I I saw it say reviving the stores all, and I thought that that meant like all of your allies, and I'm like, well, how does that work? But um, no, it was just full revive. Jesus, look at this. Really? Couldn't be a bro about this? Falling Star is at least going to be nice. Oh, so your Lick can cause Sticky. That's kind of wild. Um... Well, the Honey Bee's gone now. Oh wait, no, I had the sticky on, that's why it happened. Never mind, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I, um... Yeah, I guess I forgot that... That, uh, Flora had sticky shoes on to 
hopefully help us out. And now we're kind of stuck in this fight where they really want it. To do harm. Um... Well, the sad thing is that now the, um... Oh, that's really gonna help me now. Now we can't do diagonals, and we can't do our vertical slash. I think if I really want to get fancy, now that there's only one dude left, we could technically probably stall out with defense to get our um, health back. Definitely a better way to passive heal than uh, just going and getting the items. It's a little too slow with Flora, though, since Flora doesn't have the 10 plus. Nice miss. Too bad I can't switch out equipment during this. I love the uh, anteater noise that they make. Really cool. I just want Flora to get to 100. And now we kill. I was gonna say, wouldn't it be funny if we leveled up and made it so it was worthless that we did that? And look at that! Hilarious! A level up is always nice. Alright, I went that way for the chest. Let me... Quick save. She's out of quick save. Because I do have the sticky thing on. I could see a fight getting a little messy because I... gonna say this is gonna be a good one but then other things showed up come on come on sticky it up let me death cap and all that jazz damn it I just don't want that one to be here It really would be a better idea for me to wait till I get a, like, higher level so I can kill anything that's in, in my way. I guess I won't worry about this. It would be a lot easier to just do this a different way. Um... Source five, like, recovery is... Every turn, actually. No, wait, that's stamina. I'm, I'm sorry, I got confused. Stamina is the uh, energy, is what I thought for a second. I, I was thinking, why didn't I ever put that on? But it's the, uh, it was the wrong thing. Survival gauntlet would still be decent. Like, I don't know. Nothing is really popping out as like a decent thing. I'm gonna just give you some more speed. Let's just go fight whatever boss is over here. Look at this cool hideout. Of course, once I remove the sticky from my, uh... Cool, yeah, that's that doesn't upset me at all. As soon as I remove Sticky, I got the encounter that I would have wanted. Um, so what I'm gonna try to do is hopefully we get like enough speed to kill both of those with Jump Slash. And then we will just guard until we get Okay, good. Until our damage gets low and hope that that will cause the bee to try to heal us. 
since the bee doesn't have anything else to heal. I guess I shouldn't guard. Let's, um, protect so we take damage. I'm pretty sure it sounded like the bee is supposed to be able to help us as well, and that's why Sticky was a thing. But I could be wrong about that. We'll let it go... Like, one more bit. There we go, Honey Gift! Hopefully... Hopefully... We are fast enough. Thank God. Yeah, poison you. It's fun. Actually, it's not fun. I don't think we'll be able to do any... I don't think I can, like, revive... Ah, uh, why, what, mm. What was I thinking? A lot of energy. Nope, nothing, nothing is gonna help us here. If I had like... Ah, oh, what, why am I dumb? Ah, oh, I'm really upset. I'm super upset about that. I wish we could release just on anyone. Got a strength seed out of it. Hey, what? what's that title screen you say? So I don't waste that death cap that I would never use except for this specific situation? Just for convenience sakes. All right, you have sticky on. I'm gonna still try to do this. It's not the right encounter. Ah, you couldn't escape. I don't think the skills can be dodged with evasion. I feel like it doesn't work. But I can hit you guys at least another bit. Hopefully Sticky doesn't make me too slow. Nope. Get out of there. Oh, uh, this is annoying. This is terrible. Why did those honey guys have to be here? Why couldn't it just be the spiky ones? One more try. One more try and then I'm actually done with that. This is silly. I'm being silly. One more try. One more try, please. I don't know why I didn't think about the... Hey, good, 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 good. Great. Poison Flora. And we just need to get some damage off on someone. Flora might die also, but whatever. We can use items to make the situation less bad. And I want to flame slash to hopefully guarantee a kill, I think. Just so we don't have, like, crazy bad health. And then, yeah, I expect a honey's gift. Although now... Another lick might happen. Attack so we get our uh, energy back, stamina. 
Hey, we actually got two. Two for the price of uh, one. Okay, now we need to like heal up because I made some bad decisions. Uh, change this back to speed. That's why, so yeah, boss's plan is genius. Hopefully I don't die during this fight or else that would be a shame. You can say that again. Good thing we chose this place as a post. You got other posts too, right? Yeah, it's a big job. This one's got spread our forces out. That's how we're gonna make all the Huni R's. All according to Kakaku. We'll attack the Huni Bees village and then we, the Ant Gobbler tribe, will take over. What? Who are you? Drat and Intruder. Is it a scout? Were you eavesdropping on us? Hey, get her. Right. Oh, just two? Dude, did you see how many people were here when I was making my way over here? I wonder if, like, more encounters will happen, because that's not... Nothing to really worry about. Like, if, like, another battalion... Or if we're gonna just have to do a lot more stuff than just deal with these guys. You're dead! Phew, I beat them somehow, but I've got to tell everyone in the village about what I just heard! We're back to your findings to the bear tribe. Um, I'm going to again do what I do best, and that is crumb out of here. Seems like a good solution. How many more missions? We have like three, right? Oh, many? Oh no, right, me. Gotta go there, and then everything else is there besides reclaiming secret hideout. Uh, probably we'll go get the spirit powder before we do the other stuff. I, I, I'm wasting weight. Oh, look, see? This got updated. The, uh, the stone added, like, little bits to it. I like that. It's nice. It's cool to look at that. I wanted to check it out. I was gonna actually load out and back into a location to see it, but that's also nice. Um... Okay, we just have to go down, right, down, right, up. too bad over here. I wonder what level I'm supposed to be at for, like, the actual story mission. They shouldn't give me so many cool side quests to do. I wonder if we have to fight, like, an antlion boss. Ant Why do I keep wanting to call it an antlion? It's because I think antlions are cool, so my initial thought is always, like, antlion. Jump slash. Defend. Nice. Too much damage. Uh, I was wondering about an ant... Eater boss. And if it's like a different type, I might want to again try to do the. No, I don't have death caps this time though. I keep forgetting about that weird mushroom guy up there. Can I buy death caps from anyone? Or. If, oh, I guess I could look at like drop rates. If anything, I would assume maybe Toxic Toad might have death caps. But I don't actually know. Uh, guys, there's a problem. Dilemma. Oh, use back. How'd it go? Did you beat up those guys who stole our base? Yep, I took care of those ant gobblers who were in your secret base. Alright, now we can meet up at the base again. Well, it's not safe there yet, sorry. Oh, uh, why? You took care of them, didn't you? I did, but I overheard them say something super serious. The ant gobbler tribe plans to attack the Hunibee tribe village nearby. They were using your base to scout the area, and I think there are more of them in hiding out there somewhere. 
We really do need to tell the adults about this. No, they can't really be thinking about attacking the village. An ant gobbler might go back to the base again. That's why it's not safe for you to be there for a while, okay? Yeah, okay. I don't like it, but it's not the time to be selfish, huh? You're right. The most important thing is preparing to defend our village. Yeah, we gotta be ready to fight. A fight? We're just kids. We should leave the fighting to the adults. Agreed. Fighting is dangerous. We can help everyone prepare for evacuation and cheer them on. Yeah, you got a point. Hate to admit it, but we're still just kids. Yeah, but you beats up a bunch of stuff, though. If you say so, you, then I'll cooperate. I'll go tell Bear Chief about what's going on. See you soon, guys. Bebe's not really feeling it. Huh? Ah, greetings, you. Has something happened? Mr. Huni Bear Chief, I have bad news. I overheard an the Ant Gobblers talking about attacking the Huni Bee Village. What did you say? The children's hideout was taken over by Ant Gobblers. When I went to drive them out, I overheard their plans. I defeated the ant gobblers that were there, but I think there are more that are hiding out in the area. They said they were planning on attacking from several different bases around the village. Thank you for telling me, you. After we inform the human bees, we must come up with a countermeasure. Just let me know if I can do anything to help out. Thank you, I'll be sure to do that. Please take this for your efforts. Are we gonna do more side quests for you? Large sickle. Large sickle, huh? Attack damage. Attacks damage all enemies, but damage reduced by half. That's not a bad trade off, honestly. Do I want to? I wish I had more equipment slots. Uh, and think. Oh, no, the bees! The bees have quests! It's probably related, and it's probably gonna have us go like up and around and do stuff. I'm pressing wrong buttons. I'm mad because the bees have quests. Not the bees. I'm just gonna go to the fountain. I mean, I, I figured there would be a quest since we didn't really end that adventure quite yet, but I was hoping maybe it would be for later. Do you have... Nope. Because as far as it's... We've seen so far monsters. It seems like there's like three of each type. If we go to like this top here where we kind of like saw everything. Like there isn't room for more toads. Unless if this is one, but I'm assuming this would be another rabbit. And we're missing one more raccoon. So I, I kind of feel like, although, if my idea is right, then I think we're missing a stag and a lot of owls. Who knows how it's supposed to go. Bees! Bees, there's a problem! Oh, you got here at just the right time, Miss You. Hi there, Mr. Bee Chief. Is something going on? When the Ant Gobbler tribe declared war, we Huni Bees investigated things and we figured out their plot. It won't be long now until they're attacked. They'll make their way here in a few days' time. The numbers will be great, but we know they're coming, so we're doing everything we can to prepare for them. We're going to turn the battle to our advantage. We're calling the plan Operation Scented Box. We'll be making a special box that emits a scent to put the Ant Gobblers to sleep. That'll give us the edge. The box requires a delicate hand to make, though, and the construction process is quite complicated. We'll need to make many trips between our village and the Huni Bears, too. It'll be hard, but it needs to be done. However, everyone's already busy getting ready for the fight in their own ways, so no one has time to make the box. You can leave that to me. I'll get it to you before the battle. I knew I could count on you, Miss You. Thank you so much. This will help us a great deal. First, we'll need the materials. Go see Gardner B here in the village for the proper wood. Alright, I just have to visit Mr. Gardner B, right? No problem. Craftsman should be able to make the box once you deliver that wood. Leave the task to you. Go to Demon King Mountain, they say. I'm too busy doing other stuff. Dragon Dad's like, what's taking her so long? I told her where to go. Hi there, Mr. Gardner B. Oh, are you the one they call Miss You? I heard the plan. You need wood for the box, right? I'll get it for you. Here are. This is the odorless wood. You can't use any other kind or else it'll dilute the scent we're using. How do Castleman and Huni Bear Village turn it into a box we need? 
Okay, got it. Thanks for telling me. So this is just a back and forth. No problem. Thanks for helping out. I'll leave the rest in your hands, monsieur. <sighs> really couldn't just be close by, huh? You guys really have to just be this far away from each other. I guess I'll go look at the other shop and see if they have any uh, death mushrooms. I mean, that would be a good reason to use a sickle move. I mean, half damage seems a bit rough, but depending on how many enemies are actually in the vicinity, it definitely would be worth it. Like, half damage against three things is a net positive, right? Pretty sure that's how math works. But then again, it's an equipment that you can't really unequip, so if you're in a situation where it's not useful, then, uh, it sucks to be you, right? The, the character you, not you, the person. Right, hopefully this isn't too much back and forth. Like, this is a situation where... I, I mean, I guess it would be a... It would work fine there. Honestly, there's not that many single target... Encounters. So, besides a boss fight, it probably is the most useful, but I like my... Passive recovery. And then that lightning charm is just really nice. Well... Speak of single encounters... There's not many of them. I want to make sure I'm going the right way. All the maps kind of start blending together after a while. Hopefully all the other quests are a bit quicker. Okay, the game's making me a liar by having a lot of single encounters. The, um... Again, though, this is more like a quest chain, so it makes sense that this would take a bit more time. And then they had us do a lot of other stuff here that wasn't technically related. So I guess I can't be too mad. But I'm mad. Hopefully we don't have to do this a lot of times. It's going to be real annoying if we have to do this a lot of times. That's, that's going to be just a screw you, do this quest because you like doing side quests. Eat up, you filthy pig. And I'm not going to be a fan of that. I don't think there's any reason I should be fighting these. We get, like, no experience from them, right? It wouldn't be worth it. Alright, Mr. Shop. Hey, you have death caps. I am going to actually grab a couple of those. Like I said, I have... I would say money to spare. Like I said, probably one more anteater type. So it'd be worth it to have those. Although I, I grabbed a couple more just in case if they might actually be useful for like a boss fight. I think I need to talk to someone over here. Not you. Oh, okay. Can't walk that way. Probably this person. Hi there, Mr. Artisan Bear. I've been waiting for you, Miss You. May have met my. I haven't seen the kind of wood in a while, so this is what we're using. Okay, then wait just a moment, and I'll make you the most exquisite yet daring scent box you've ever seen. Whoa, that was fast! First, you need to get the wood into the right shape, then you carefully scrape away till each part is perfect. It's amazing how thin these pieces you're shaving off are. I can almost see right through them. Oh, I'm just getting started. This next part is where a craftsman like myself really gets to show off. Oh, it looks like you're shaving a bunch of different shapes into the edge of the pieces? With these, we can put the box together without needing any nails. Oh, you're doing that thing. I thought you were just getting fancy. Like, decorating it without needing any nails or glue at all. See? Just like that. Wow, amazing! All the pieces fit perfectly together. It doesn't even wiggle around at all! Alright, with this, it's complete. Everything's in place. Nice and tight. Mr. Craftsman, you're so awesome. You made such a beautiful box in the blink of an eye. The least I can do. Next up, we'll need odorless Huni. Go see the beekeeper in the Huni Bee Village. Got it. Thanks for telling me. Hopefully. Like, you would think that would be it, right? Because it, all it is is just getting the 
the scent, right? To put in the box? That should just work. So at the very least, the next step would be to, like, drop it off somewhere. Also, I think if we look at the scrapbook, these always... Never mind. That's not how I thought that worked. I, I knew that they, uh, had... I, okay, I accidentally almost went somewhere. I actually accidentally went somewhere. Fine, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I knew there were, like, multiple things that were shown for quests, but I was hoping that it would be a, um, continuation, like, this is the next step, and I was like, oh, it only has three steps, so we should be fine, right? Relationship with him here, tribe is back to normal, that's not who I need to talk to. Pretty close with the flower heads, but dancing with them, we get to share with the pollen. Blooming forest to sound lovely. Barely paying attention to what anyone's saying, because I just want to continue. Hey, what's going on? That's Buzz. I need to talk to you. Hey there, Mr. Beekeeper. Hey there, I've been waiting for you. Show me the box. Let's take a look. Wow, perfectly made as I expected. I heard you need to put some odorless huni in it, but what is that? Oh, we need the odor, though, too. There are actually hundreds of different types of huni, and odorless honey is a particularly special type. As the name suggests, it doesn't have any scent, but don't expect to find any on your own. Its location is a secret. Anywho, let's get it to filling this box. Here it goes, pouring it in with a slosh. Wow, it's so clear! Beautiful, isn't it? Well, now that the box is full of huni, we're all done here. There's one last step before it's ready. Bring this to Perfumer Bear in the Huni Bear Village, okay? At least it's the last step. Okay, got it. Thanks for telling me. I'm on the road again! Boy, is this one of my, uh, least favorite quests to do. The reward better be cool, like a super sickle that gives you full damage. No, not full damage. 200% damage. You're not the bear I need to talk to. Is it the child? It's not the child. Is it you? It's not you. It's not the artisan bear, it's a unique one. It's the one that does perfume, so it has to be you. And by you, I mean actually you. I see as an artisan, I'm proud to hear he chose my Huni Mead as his final meal. Uh-oh. Must have been you. Maybe it was the other one. I'm supposed to be here. It's not Daddy Bear. Wait, who? I thought I talked to you. Hey there, Miss Perfumer Bear. You're also in the spot that the other bear was in. Hello, I have been waiting for you. Now please show me the scent box. Hmm, I see. This should be fine. I shall add a scent most suitable for such a lovely box as this. The perfumers work only... This perfume works only on ant gobblers and sends them right to sleep. Only on ant gobblers, huh? I shall mix in enough to knock them all out. All of them. You just have to stir in a bunch of the liquid together? Essentially, yes. It's a secret formula composed of three especially fragrant scents precisely combined together. The smallest error in mixing them will result in no effect on the ant gobblers. Alright, the mixture is done. Now we need to add it to the odorless huni. The scent changes when exposed to air, so we must lock it in quickly. With this, the scent box is complete. It is a masterpiece created by our two villages. Please give this to the bee chief. Okay, got it. Thanks for telling me. Good thing I can... Every time I press the wrong button. Good thing I can do this. Again, I better get something cool out of this. Actually, I was wrong. There's 50 more steps where you have to go back and forth between the bee village and the bear village. Also, you are not allowed to use the teleporter this time. If you do, it'll make the box explode or something. I don't know. I'm making it up as I go. I, like, at this point, I don't even remember what the other quests are. We need to get food for... I think we need to talk to the chief. We need to get food for Wildcat. We need to... What are you guys doing? We need to, uh... Get something for the letter. How many times must I tell you before you understand? This isn't a game! I'm serious, too. I already know how grave the situation is. That's why I want to help. No, you have no idea just how serious this is. This is a matter of life and death. You may not even survive! I don't care, death doesn't scare me. You only say that because you've never had to look death in the eyes. You're not joining the battle and that's that. We're having a serious discussion about our preparations here, so go home already. 
I'm sure that won't come up later. Probably continuing this quest immediately by going to Bear Village again. Ah, miss you, you've returned. The scent box is complete, but is something the matter? Oh, these kids with their scouts, uh, these kids were just trying to convince me to let them join in the battle. I swear they, no, they'll be okay. I'll just have to give them a lecture later. Now please, show me the box. Sure thing, here you go. Oh ho, why it's perfect. With this completed, all we have left to do is wait until the battle starts. Miss you, please let me know when you finish your preparations for the battle ahead. Are we like just gonna do it? Okay. I'm ready. We're just getting in there. Ah, uh, Monsieur, are you ready now? We are as well. Monsieur, please take this streamer perfume. Make good use of it. Try it in battle. Now, let's go over our plans of attack once more. Alright, epic battle. Uh, look at us! We're ready to go! The Ant Gobblers are coming! They've finally shown themselves, eh? Onward, everyone! Yeah! Yeehaw! Oh, these are basic bitch enemies. So what does this perfume do? do? I have a chance of inflicting Sleepy on Ant Gobbler. Unlimited use. Oh, yeah, we might as well. That being said... This won't double hit. That's the problem. I guess I will use it with you. Just because Fallen Star... There we go. Alright, that's a good angle. Go to sleep! Hmm. That's upsetting. And then jump slash just won't work. Alright, well, let's, um... Attack the one that's awake. Just try to get them down quick. I mean, we have, again, passive healing. Which is gonna be our best bet. Of course, you decided... Oh, wait, 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 wait. You definitely want to attack you, and you can just attack you. You don't know what I'm saying, because I'm saying you as in Y-O-U, and you as in Y-U-U. -U. It's so confusing. Alright, we broke through the first wave. Continue holding them off. Protect the village! Yeah! We're still just getting started. I'm chomping at the bit to show them my power. Chomping, huh? You don't have much in the way of teeth to chomp with. Now, do you? Heh! <laughs> Leave it to me next time. The second wave is approaching! Hold the line at all costs! We can't let them reach our defenses! Get ready, they're coming! Are the bears helping? Yeah! Uh, that one... Bebe probably is, um... If I had to guess, gonna get captured and... Is going to be at the, uh... That one dead end in that one cave. That definitely worked a lot better. And then I'm just gonna do it again over here and have you... Falling Star for bonus damage. Nice. And we... can make sure you're dead and deal with this pretty easily. That was a much easier uh, setup for us. Well, I'd say easier. It was more a problem of Flora is still not doing great damage, but also that might have been because she has the Crystal Robe on. So that's kind of my bad. All right, we broke through the second wave. The front line still holds steady. Our victory is at hand. Yeah! Whew. Have we at least cut their forces down any? All right, it's my time to shine. Go take a rest over there. Third wave is almost here. They're still coming at us. Fortify our defense line. Get ready, they're coming. Yeah! Oh, this is the tough group now. I can't jump slash. Defend! Actually, why? Well, I mean, what else am I gonna really do? I'm gonna just defend until I get the, um... My attack, so... What would be nice is if Flora had something that can, um give people more stamina. Uh, well, so, honestly, the defend, and can I just use the item again? Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. Like, it's, this is, they basically made this a, uh, don't worry about it situation. 
I guess they didn't want, like, waves of enemies to be actually difficult. Got some good stuff from that. All right, third wave's broken. Our front line's been pushed back, but keep holding their final wave's near. Yeah! This is the last wave. You've got no other choice. I'll give it everything I've got. I'm going all out just this once. The final wave is upon us. This is the last one. Let's go, everyone. Take them all head on. Yeah! Well, that, that is a wave. What I've got. A trick up my sleeve. You, you guys might not have noticed. I have Dreamer's Perfume. Oh, now this really would have been my uh, time to shine when it came to... But I can, at the very least right now, get some Falling Stars off. And by some, I mean the one. And now is my chance. And then we'll... Well, we'll get you guys a little extra, too. Oh, I didn't realize someone was awake. Um... I'll have you... Dream perfume, and then you can fall and start one last time. Not not only are we like super safe, but with dream perfume, we can get our energy back as quickly as we need to. Nothing there, so let's just attack normally. Attack you, and we'll attack you. I was hoping that would kill. I was hoping that would kill. I'm gonna just go for it. Like, I, they're not gonna do enough damage to us. It'll be a problem. Unless if this was a mistake and the super scary boss enemy is gonna show up. Also getting a decent amount of items from all of these. Yeah, Flora took a, a bit of a beating. But at this point, she can handle it. She's wearing a giant crystal robe. We did it! We, we won! Yeah! Now give me like honey armor or something. Honeycomb parasol. Mr. Chieftain, you did it! You protected the village through it all! Thank you so much for all your help, Miss Yu. We are truly in your debt. Everyone, listen up. Though many were wounded in this fight, it was with all our efforts combined that we managed to repel the enemy. This is all thanks to everyone who came here today and stood their ground. We all share in this victory together. But I must give special praise to our comrade who informed us of the attack and fought alongside us. Miss you! I told that one child they couldn't help us in the fight, but you is a different child, so it's okay. How about everyone, please show her our gratitude. Yeah! Thanks, Miss you. You're my hero. Thank you so much. You saved us all. I would like to gift this scent box, one of our greatest treasures, to you, Miss you, along with our gratitude. Didn't we just make the scent box? Does anyone object? No, sir. Thanks so much, everyone. I'll cherish this forever. What is scent box? Is it a... Equipable? Oh, we just have Dreamer Perfume now? I guess that's fine, right? We can just use that. Is that still, um... High, it's unlimited high chance of inflicting Sleepy on Ant Gobblers. I wonder if it can work on other enemies. Uh, are we... We are done here. No more honey. 